modern shipping container prefab designs and modular home floor plans, block box 640. Hello and welcome to this week's video. This video brings to you block box 640. This is a modern shipping container house designed using two 40 foot shipping containers to create a 640 square feet house. This video covers a complete presentation of dimensioned floor plans, a cost estimate checklist, and detailed drawings you can download for free to use on your own shipping container house project. Watch to the end of the video for the link to download the floor plans and a cost estimate checklist to guide you on your container house project. We post weekly videos featuring custom designed shipping container homes and reviews of house designs from around the world. Feel free to subscribe to our channel for our inspiring weekly videos on amazing design ideas. Stay tuned and enjoy the video. The Structure this three-bedroom 640-plus square foot residence is made from recycled, two 40-foot, high cube containers positioned parallel to each other and separated by a one-meter gap in between, to form a block. High cube containers are preferable because they provide you with an extra foot of ceiling height. This creates enough headroom for ceiling insulation without compromising the headroom of the habitable space. This house design is ideal for a large-sized family. It is also a good investment for a holiday retreat, you can have it listed on Airbnb as a guest house to earn some extra income. The reuse of a one-way container for a new and permanent use as a house, is an optimal way of recycling. Reusing a single 40-foot container upcycles about 3,500 kilograms of steel and saves about 8,000 kilowatt-hours of energy that would otherwise be needed to melt it down. A one-way container is preferable because it has less blemish. One of the containers accommodates the utility functions. The master bathroom, the laundry, a common bathroom, a fully fitted kitchen, dining and a children's bedroom. The utility functions are all located on one side of the house to cut on plumbing cost. The second container houses the master bedroom with a walk-in closet, guest bedroom and the living room. The one meter gap in between the containers is a design decision to increase the habitable space by an extra 120 square feet of floor space. In addition, the gap is used for the main entrance door, hence avoiding cutting the container which helps to reduce on the costs. Foundation and Modifications the containers sit on a reinforced concrete pier foundation to elevate them from moisture. The foundation is made of 16 300 mm square by 450 mm high, concrete piers spaced 3 meters apart center to center. This light foundation permits continuous airflow to keep the container cool and enable plumbing with ease. Piers of steel, concrete blocks. Stone or treated wooden poles can be used as alternative foundations. Wall of containers are structural and load-bearing. Cutting out too much steel from the walls for doors and windows interferes with the structural integrity and strength of shipping containers. The living room has large 3 meters wide by 2.4 meters high folding door. This introduces weak points on the facade calling for further bracing and reinforcement with steel beams. Our design principle is shelter mode homes, we do not cut out the roof and the floor of our shipping container house designs. It is very costly to restore the roof and the floor as compared with bracing and reinforcing wall and door cutouts, so we opt not to. This design retains the original container access doors on the container ends to create suspended Juliet balconies, for the dining and the lounge respectively. All the end panel doors are fitted with full height sliding glass doors, sliding and folding doors are good space savers and ideal to use in a container house. The balconies are fitted with a glass balustrade to create that feel of lightness. When using a one-way container as a sustainable design statement, we suggest leaving the exterior of the shipping container as is, including its original color and markings. This will help to preserve its charm with its history in addition help to reduce costs on painting the exterior. 
depending on location, budget, climate and local planning regulations. Explore other exterior finishes such as, stucco, timber cladding, or cement board. Outdoor living space. Apart from the drainage and moisture benefits, the elevated position of the house provides the height necessary to construct a deck. A 2.5 meter wide deck is provided in the design. The length can be as per the client's discretion. A deck is a quick and easy way to add extra living space to a container home by greatly extending outdoors the compact living space inside a shipping container. A 2.4 meters high, 3 meter wide folding glass door is provided to access the front deck with maximum daylighting, connecting the living room to the surrounding landscape. An extended roof eaves overhangs part of the deck, guarding the deck access from rain and direct sunlight. Wall lights are welded onto the container for security lighting in addition to overhead lights, to illuminate the deck and the roof terrace at night. The elevated main entrance is accessed with a lightweight steel stairs made from recycled container cuttings mounted on a steel frame and welded onto the lower beam of the container. The top of the treads is covered with checkered steel plate for non-slip access. Furniture Design Ideas Fitting furniture into a shipping container home can be a challenge. Most furniture hasn't been designed specifically for such small spaces. Furniture choices for container homes should be made with space saving in mind. Multifunctional transforming furniture and other space saving essentials, effortlessly transform from one use to another, allowing a single space to perform more than one function. To complement the industrial look of the container, we adopted a minimalist design to make the narrow space feel somewhat spacious. This design uses a vertical queen-size Murphy bed in the children bedroom. This allows the space to serve both as a children playroom and as a sleeping room. The transition from day space to night zone is quick and simple. Consider exploring other space saving furniture ideas depending on the space needs in your container home. Consider using flat pack cabinets for the kitchen. Flat pack cabinets are good alternatives for the kitchen and wardrobe rather than custom units because of cost and quick installation. Flat packs can also be creatively used as space dividers instead of walls. If the house is built on a water scarce site, all the grey water from the shower and sink can be recycled and used to irrigate the roof garden and flowers garden. Installing a solar powered composting toilet will be an added advantage. Xer escaping and use of native vegetation is another way of sustainable landscaping. Insulation and temperature control. Steel is a good conductor of heat, therefore, to live in a shipping container home, you need to insulate the exterior walls. Insulation is one of the most important aspects of turning a container into a comfortable home. Without it, the building would be like an oven in summer and freezing in winter. Insulation is also essential to preventing condensation, which can corrode the container and form mold. The house is insulated with 40 mm of cement plaster on the interior forming a 45 mm composite wall of steel and concrete for effective control of the indoor climate. Other types of insulation such as, spray foam, insulation panels, earth wool blanket insulation, planted roof garden and eco-friendly materials like bamboo offer possible alternatives. The containers are covered with an elevated corrugated steel roof to guard it from rain and direct sunlight. The roof is extended on the front to create a roof overhang, above the entrance. The corrugated steel roof is elevated above the container roof to allow for airflow to keep the container interior cool in summer. Since a shipping container roof doesn't have eaves, all fenestrations are adequately protected from direct weather elements with steel box casements. If you are planning to use the container roof as is, consider covering the container top with a roof garden planted with native plants and flowers. Design the garden planter in such a way that it sit in a steel frame above the roof of the container, to allow airflow and keep the weight off the non-structural container roof. The green roof adds both charm and natural insulation of the container house from direct solar gain, hence saving money that would have been used on air conditioning. Interior Design 
To minimize the claustrophobic feel of living in a container, the walls of the main living room are finished in monochrome light colored paint. Alternatively, both the walls and floor can be lined with finishes made from eco friendly materials like bamboo. Since this is a container house, consider using similar materials to finish the kitchen and the bathrooms in order to maintain that industrial look. Create harmony by using a repetitive theme to make the house appear bigger. The Cost Estimates Checklist This cost estimates checklist is to guide you on the items to consider in your own container project. The prices of the items are subject to vary depending on your country, currency exchange rates, taxes, and government regulations. For correct and factual figures, consult the relevant experts in your country. What do you feel about our new house design? If you have any question, feel free to ask by posting in the comments below. If you need further inspiration, check out our other container homes designs such as, Ecobox 160, Ecobox 320 and Liftbox 480. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and feel free to share it. Remember to subscribe to our channel for our weekly videos on shipping container homes. You can download all the plans from our website on the link in the description. See you in the next video.